Hey guys, welcome back. Classical guitar lesson, finally, finally. A lesson with classical guitar. I wish I could play more sometimes. Anyway, classical guitar. We're gonna learn this song by uh, Tariga, Francisco Tariga, it's called Lagrima. This is one of four pieces. So it's a kind of a sweet, okay? Um, beautiful, beautiful melody. It's quite popular. Um, and it's kind of easy-ish, okay? Um, obviously, there will be the tab for this one. So finally, I can put put a tab as well um, so all the description all the info uh, in the description down below uh, thank you very much for watching um, and subscribe to the YouTube channel you can keep up with all the previous tutorial I have a book for acoustic guitar coming up so all the info are at blitzguitar.com lots of free stuff guys okay? so thank you very much and let's get started all right so in this video I'm going to show you the first part Okay, the major part, and I promise you I will upload the second one, okay? And I'm also going to upload the Spanish romance, the second part, the major part for the Spanish romance, which I did record, but I didn't upload yet. Anyway, let's start with the first position. Let me play one more time. Uh, the first part we're going to learn today, so it's this one. Um, is in an E major key, so we're gonna have four accidentals here, uh, which it makes well, probably doesn't really make that much difference if you read the tab, but if you read the common notation, you will. Anyway, fourth string, second fret, and first string, fourth fret. Okay, so I'm plucking the, obviously the fourth string with the thumb, the first string with the ring finger. Okay, and I pluck them at the same time. So I have. And then the second open string with the middle finger. All right. Second position, um, I basically uh, hold the fingers down and I'm going with the index finger, fourth fret, and with the little finger, fifth fret. So I'm going from here to here. Okay. So five, sorry, four and five. Fifth string, first fret. And again, second open string and then symmetrically two frets up so it will be it will be one two three four five six on the fourth string and seven on the first string and again the B open string second open string so four sorry two and four second open four and five and open six and seven and open second all right and then symmetrically all the way down to first and second D D sharp and F sharp second open third string second fret have fifth string second fret at the same time with the third string second fret so let's just recap this the last position first I plug fourth string first fret and second string uh, sorry first string second fret open second third string second fret what is it <laughs> second and at the same time fifth string second fret and third string and second again shall we try slowly Thing is that we repeat this thing 
twice. So um, the first line is actually the first four bars are exactly the same thing. Okay, repeat it twice. Keep going. So what we have here, I'm going up to the 12th fret, so 12th fret with the little finger and 4th string uh, 11th fret. Now play at the same time, always obviously thumb on the fourth yeah? and ring finger on the first and then third string fret number nine with the index finger it looks like I'm using the middle finger but I'm not okay so then I slide the little finger back to the fret number 11 and I put a bar down four strings and I'm plucking fourth and first and then the third. So let's do one more time this transition. Eh? Uh, the little finger now is on the 12th fret. Okay, so third string, ninth fret. Then I slide the little finger on the 11th fret and I put a bar down on the 9th fret. And I plug fourth and first, and then the third. And then symmetrically, I move this thing two frets behind and I have fourth and first at the same time and now second string which will be obviously played with the bar so one more time now third bar on the ninth with the little finger on the eleventh and third string symmetrically two frets back and then second string. Now what happened next? Be careful. Huh? I have that. So I hold the bar down, and then I add um, the fourth string fret number nine with the third finger, and the little finger goes from the first string to the second string. So come from here. I add the fourth string. 9th fret and then little finger 9th fret 2nd string quick recap ah oh, sorry Right after that, I slide the third finger on fret number 11. So we just played that. And I slide the third finger on the fourth string, 11th fret. Okay, if you add a bit of vibrato, you're gonna like it. Then second open, sorry, first open, third string, 11th fret with a little finger, second string, 10th fret with the middle finger okay so let me play really 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 slow fourth string 11th fret first open third string 11th fret and second string 10th fret so I'm um, sliding again the third finger, fret number nine, and I have fourth string, fret number nine, and second string, fret number nine. Always add always a bit of vibrato. So first open, 
so and then I go all the way back and I put a bar down on the second fret the difficult huh? second fret is a five strings bar and I have also the third string third fret and I pluck third and second and then first so first fifth or fifth string played with the bar and then little finger on the fourth fret second string played with the um, second and third string so quick recap from here nine nine fourth and second first string slide down bar on the second and middle finger on the third string th um, third fret and at the same time third and second string first fifth string and second string fourth fret play with the third string and then fourth string second fret th third string first fret first open.